One of the prime things we can do is to ask ourselves, all of us can ask ourselves, how can we treat human data more humanely? How can we, we be more inherently human with this type of data? The thing I didn't tell you at the beginning of the talk, this study done by the New England Complexity Institute, completely wrong. They made a mistake in their, um, it's called geocoding, the way that they were finding a location. So that high school was not the saddest part in Manhattan. So they published an apology. Um, but this isn't good enough, right? We can't do this type of thing with data when it involves humans. We can't play with people's lives in this way just because it's fun and easy. And I think a lot of the things we're doing with data right now and big data, we're doing them because they're easy, because they become so easy, we don't have to think about the people that we're, we're, we're um, actually working with. And, and so uh, these phrases are the phrases that I think we need to banish from our discussions about data, and we need to instead think about data as this, this really important human resource. So Lashlo Barabashi, that, who we heard about before, does a lot of thinking about what we can do with data, and I love this quote, and I'll only read the last part about it. And so he's talking about big problems that we have with data, that we can solve with data. And he says the data to do so is there in private hands. And we need to identify some social consensus by which the data can be shared with the stakeholders who can take advantage of that. And for us, that word, so, that phrase social consensus is the most important. And we really believe in fundamentally that art and culture is a way to change that social consensus and a way to get us to think, think about these things in much more engaging and more interesting ways. So if anything I want to leave you with today is maybe thinking about how can we all collectively move toward it's an era of data humanism in which the way that we work with data is not all about how can we make a better profit from it, which I, I hey, I like profit, I run a business, um, but can we do that so that when we look back at what we're doing um, 10 or 20 years ago, we're not ashamed and instead we're kind of proud of what we ended up doing and the decisions that we ended up make, making.